I have a number of colleagues who are organizational psychologists, as well as uh, other colleagues and friends who work in organizational development in the field of organizational behavior. Some of them are consultants and some of them are researchers. And one of the things they often talk about, even though their specialties vary a little bit, is something called work-life balance. If you're on LinkedIn at all, you'll probably see the term work-life balance pop up in the news feed and different postings. And, and you'll see a number of different consultants available to work with individuals about this thing called work-life balance. It's not a complicated uh, idea. The basic idea is that we have work, and often work is demanding and requires a lot of us but it should be in balance with the rest of our life. That sounds okay at first blush. Yes, work should be balanced with our life, but I have a bit of a problem with this construct. You see, I think it puts too much emphasis on work. It's basically saying that work as a domain is just as important as everything else in our life and that everything in our life should be balanced with work. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but I bet you are. There are a lot of things in my life that are more important to me than my work. My family is more important and my, my relationship with my partner. Uh, there are friends that I have in my life that I value a great deal. Taking care of myself, making sure I'm healthy, that's very important. That's more important than my work, as well as my mental health and my spiritual practice. All of those things come first in my life. Then there are other things that I really enjoy and they need to fit into my life because they're important. Work is in the mix, but it's not equal to everything else in my life. Work is a part. And I think that the difficulty with the construct of work-life balance is that it suggests that work should be this overarching piece that gets balanced with the rest of our life and everything else has to fit in around work somehow to form a balance. And that's just not a balanced life. See, what I think is important is that we have a balanced life and that looks different for each of us. The way in which we put the different pieces of our life together will vary. And, and they'll probably vary across the lifespan. I mean, yes, whenever I was in my 20s, work and career was more important to me than now that I'm at my point in life where I'm looking at retirement. So there are changes that happen. But overall, the issue isn't whether work and life are balanced, it's whether I'm living and you're living a balanced life. Are you finding ways in which your life is meaningful? Are you happy? Are you content as a person? Yes, it's important to ask what role work has in that contentment. And I have another video that really deals with that. It's called Spirituality and Work and really explores the way in which work allows us to express creativity and be a source of meaning and, and things like that. You know, and, and work, it may not be an end in itself for us. Work may be what enables us to do other things. For instance, work may be what enables us to provide a good home for our family. Or maybe we want to work more so that we can have a, a unique vacation somewhere because that's what's really important to us. But it's important to understand what the balance is for us as individuals. You see, I think work-life balance is really reflective. The whole concept is reflective of something about Western culture, particularly in North America. You know, whenever we, we introduce ourselves to each other, when you meet a new person, one of the first questions we ask is, what do you do? What we do in life is extremely important. We make our identity through our work. We don't focus so much on whether someone is a good person, a balanced person, or a whole person. But those are the things that, that really are of value in life. And we know that when someone's unemployed or whenever they retire, 
we don't give them the same kind of value. We assume retired people just, you know, sit around and watch daytime TV and, and unemployed people, well, we're really not sure what they do. And yes, we value career more than service industry jobs. But it's been interesting in the pandemic. People have had to face the reality of how important service industry jobs are. It's the service industry jobs that have kept us going through the pandemic. So all of our concepts of work really need to be re-examined. And one of those concepts of work that I think we need to examine is this idea that work needs to be balanced with the rest of our life. Instead, I believe we need to lead happy, whole, integrated lives. Work is part of that. Work can be an expression of our inner self and our spirituality, but work shouldn't be the dominant force in our life. Who we are, who we are uniquely, should be the dominant force in our life. If coming to an understanding of what that means for you is challenging, perhaps it would be good to consider time working with a spiritual director individually. I have a video on that too. You know, I'm getting to the point where I have videos on a lot of things. But check out the video, Your Spiritual Direction. A spiritual director is someone like me who works with people individually to help them understand what's important in their life, what their values are, how their spiritual practice and spiritual dimension nurtures those things, and how to integrate that all with the rest of life. Thanks for your time today. Remember, what's most important is that you lead a healthy, happy, well-integrated whole life. I wish that for you and as I work for, toward that for myself. Have a great day. Like the video, leave some comments, click the bell, and share this video with others.